Good afternoon. I'm Linda with Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. Uh, Mary is um, has been working all weekend, getting ready for her company this week. And I've been cooking all weekend. So um, she has been extremely busy. And y'all are going to see some of the stuff that she's been doing uh, next week on one of our uh, one of our lives. But I'm going to give it just a second. I did not create an event for this. I had planned to maybe just do a little video, and then I thought, well, then that's just extra work because you have to upload it. So I'm going to give it just a second to see if anyone gets any notifications, and um, and then I'm going to show y'all what I've made this weekend. So thank y'all for joining me. Um, it's uh, been a nice day here today. It was really a cold morning, but it's warmed up real nice, and um, it's just a, a beautiful time of year. So I hope that y'all have all had a good day and uh, uh, have had a little time to rest and relax after you got the kitchen cleaned up. If you cooked, if you didn't and you went out, well, maybe you've had a little time to rest too. So I cooked a um, breakfast this morning. When I cook breakfast, I don't cook lunch. Mike is making taco salads for supper tonight. So he usually does that. So thank y'all for joining me. I'm going to move out of the way and see if y'all can see this. I don't know if I've got the stand back far enough or not, but I'm going to, and I'll, I'll give you some close-ups, but um, uh, let's see, if I start over here, I may just have to move this and see if y'all can see it a little bit better. Um, okay. I'm not good with this camera like Mary and Linda are, but... Um, I may have to pick it up and put it in front of it. So here is my peanut brittle, or at least some of it. And if you'll see that, those little honeycomb uh, air pockets in the middle, that tells you that is some good peanut brittle. Lots and lots and lots of peanuts. If you see that, this is, this is why I put the extra peanuts in it. And then uh, this is a pecan pie that I made. And I've got, um, this is just a tray. I have extra filling, so I made a, a sweet potato, a couple of extra coconuts, and a pecan. Whoops, my peanut brittle's falling out. And then these are my little sweet potato mini pies that I made. And of course, these have to be refrigerated. They've been in the refrigerator. I got my little snowflake, uh, pie crust with the sugar on it and the little leaves pie crust. And then these are my coconut and I just made these today. So these are my coconut pies here. I hope you can see those. And then this is my, let me see if I can get the comments out of the way. This is the um, some mini pecan pies and some of the um, mincemeat pies that I made the other day. And then this is the peanut, uh, the pecan brittle, excuse me, the pecan brittle. And you'll see the, again, you'll see that honeycomb pattern in the middle. Those are little air pockets. And that makes a real crispy, crunchy uh, pecan brittle. So I got these little trays there, the little tiered things at um, TJ Maxx the other day. So I am fixing to see if I can enlist Mike to help me box this up. I've got boxes ready and I don't like folding boxes. I have folded so many boxes and they're a pain because you have to fold them a certain way. And I've got bakery boxes of, I guess, just about every size. But I'm fixing to box up some of this and um, uh, take to uh, some people so um, and sack up some of the peanut brittle. I've already got some over there sacked up, but I'm going to put it in another container. So, and the rest of it will go in the refrigerator to go somewhere else, but I'm going to get this ready for uh, some friends of ours. So, I hope that y'all have enjoyed watching what I've made this weekend. We're going to be making several things again this coming week, so be sure to be watching us. And uh, I'll get my comments back on there so I can see them. Okay, so some of you did get your notifications. That's great. 
Um, I can tell you this, that my grandmother and my great-grandmother and my mother and my aunts, it seems like they could turn out so much work in a short period of time. It is work baking. You're constantly, constantly cleaning up the kitchen. Then you've got to switch everything around. Um, and, you know, between a little rest break here and there, I have pretty much worked all weekend ex with the exception of this morning. And it's fun and I love doing it, but um, it's something that you need to love to do it or either you need to love someone that you're going to take it to because it is a labor of love. But there's, to me, there's nothing like homemade uh, cooking and getting in the kitchen and uh, feeling accomplished that you have made something for your family and your friends. So I hope that y'all... Uh, enjoyed watching the videos over the weekend of me making some of this and I hope that uh, y'all will get in the kitchen and try these recipes. I know I've had several tell me they've already made peanut brittle from my recipe and um, and it is not on our website yet but that's something I'm going to get to little Linda before the day's over so I uh, thank y'all for being patient with me on that but it, it is coming. So for all of you who are new to our site um, we do not list our recipes on our site. Uh, we tell you the ingredients. If you're watching the video, you can write them down. If you want a printable copy, we do offer the service on our website, and that's uh, www.pinkymodels.com. It's a small monthly fee, and um, you can get the recipe if you watch our videos. But if you message us and ask for them, um, you... Um, we're not going to be able to run real quick and write it down or take a picture and send it to you. We are just too busy to do that. And we're not trying to be mean. We're not trying to be ugly. We just don't have the time. We get thousands and thousands and thousands of messages and texts and calls every day. And we do the best we can with it. And then we have some of you sweet people. Um, that answer a lot of our questions, and we appreciate that so much. I do want to say one thing here, uh, and again, not meaning to be rude or mean, but this is not a recipe sharing site. If you, if you, when I was making the peanut brittle the other day, you know, I was telling y'all how to do it, and there was a couple that came on, and one lady was given her whole entire recipe, had a whole dialogue going on about her recipe while I was trying to cook. And that's not nice. Um, you certainly can give anybody your recipe that you want. You just need to use another avenue to do it. Please do not do it on our page. Um, we work very hard, Mary and I. Um, you know, we spend a lot of money doing this cooking and not to count the hours and hours that we spend doing this. And we love doing it, but we just ask that y'all respect us. And most all of our followers and friends that have been watching us for any time know this already. And y'all y'all are so good to, to respect that. But for those of you that are new or that just come on every once in a while, uh, just please don't don't put a recipe on on our site. Um, there may be sites out there that do share recipes. Iris is not one of them. So didn't want to didn't want to be um, like I was, you know, getting on to you or something. But uh, I just I'm just asking y'all to respect that. So um, and for all of those who are dealing with all these people that get on there and want to friend request you. We try our best to get them off as soon as we can. Carla and Linda do not work on the weekends, so uh, they were not on there trying to get rid of these people. I've got rid of several of them, but as y'all know, they come back in different forms or different names. So we do the very best we can. I know it's annoying and I don't like it. It takes my time. It takes Mary's time. It takes the girls' time. But we try our best to keep those from y'all. But some of them do slip through the cracks, and we can't help that. But thank y'all for bearing with me on that. Um, so uh, thank you again. This is going to be a beautiful week of Thanksgiving. Uh, it's just... Mike said this morning, he said, I cannot believe today is November the 20th. It just seems like it was August. And here it is, 
almost the end of the month. So um, time just flies by so quickly and we'll be on, on again. But um, we hope that each of you have a very blessed week, um, coming up week. And I hope the ones that don't have family coming are not going somewhere. I hope that someone thinks of you. Um, maybe somebody, um, some of our friends that are watching, y'all will be thinking of someone in your neighborhood, in your area that you can take a plate to or take a pie to. Or, um, these little mini pies are so wonderful. And if you don't have the mini pie pans, you can buy the little ones. Um, you know, you can buy them in the store, the throwaways, and make them in that. So um, Mama always said, where there's a will, there's a way. So if you, you know, if you want to do something, um, pretty much you can find a way to do something. Mama said so many uh, things that were uh, such good advice. You know, um, I remember her saying so many times in my life, if you want something done, ask somebody that's busy. We all have 24 hours in our day, but if there's somebody that's busy and um, and you ask them to do it, they're going to do their best to find a way to do it. And, and sometimes we do say no. Sometimes those of us who work so much and many, many, many people on here, we know y'all work hard. We know you do. We see what you do. And, uh, but though, you know, that's, it's the giving spirit within you that wants to give, that wants to be a blessing to someone else. And that's what I want to do. And if you don't have anyone coming to your house, um, uh, do your best to maybe if you're just cooking a small thing or maybe you're not even cooking a Thanksgiving meal, maybe you're going to just fix some lasagna or, you know, a pizza or something. You know, if there's somebody that can share with you, well, call them up, invite them over or take them some. It's just the thought of someone thinking of, of someone else besides themselves. So um, that's what we were taught to do. I remember when Mike and I lived in Albuquerque, and oh my goodness, it was such a hard time for us. We only had one vehicle. Y'all heard, heard me tell this many times about um, either I would have to wait till Mike got off work, or either I would walk home or ride the bus, and many times the bus was so crowded that I just chose to walk, and it was about four miles, and I was young. You know, I was in my 30s, and I didn't mind it, but um, um, it's, it's something about it when you see other people that are hurting that they want you want to do something for them and people that have to work on these holidays so it was thanksgiving in albuquerque and uh, mike was working he had to work that day he worked um in retail and he had to work and so i cooked a dinner we had a little chihuahua his name was buckeye go figure right and um so i fixed a meal and there was a little uh, convenience store, probably about, I don't know, four or five blocks from where we lived. And we lived in a mobile home park. And I would go down there and I'd walk down there with Buckeye in the summertime when it was so hot. And I would get, you know, like a drink. At that time, I drank Pepsi. And I'd go down and get me a Pepsi. And I knew this guy was going to be working. So when we got, when I got uh, the dinner ready that day, um, I fixed a plate. Mike wasn't home yet, but I fixed a plate, and I got Buckeye and on a leash, and we walked down there and carried him a Thanksgiving dinner. And people like that are so appreciative. You know, you might think, well, somebody else is going to bring him something, or somebody else is going to bring her something, but you don't really know that. So it's just maybe you don't want to bring him a meal. Maybe you just want to bring him a piece of pecan or pumpkin or a sweet potato pie. And uh, sometimes... It's not even what you do. It's just that you've remembered someone that really touches their soul. So um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And uh, hi, Darren. I believe uh, he said, I'm, Darren, I'm, I'm assuming that Darren is a guy. He may not be. Maybe a girl. But hello, Darren from the UK. And uh, because I'm standing right in front of the... Uh, camera i started saying the tv the camera i can see the comments most of the time i can't because they're too far for me to read them but um i really do uh so much appreciate y'all my sister and i just love every one of y'all to death we are we just every day we just can't believe that we have people around the world that watch us and that want to watch us and all all of the local people at home and uh you know uh, in alaska and in hawaii and everybody around the world that watches us um 
if you don't get back on and you don't hear us again, I hope that Mary and I both wish you a happy Thanksgiving and we will be back on. Okay, Darren, you are a guy, so I was right. Well, thank you for watching us. I hope you'll share us with your friends. And um, thank you all for all the wishes. And uh, there's, uh, and I know I'm not going to say this word right, but uh, Grealish Kathleen. I know how to say Kathleen. And she's from Ireland. She watches us on a regular basis. So hello to her. And we have uh, other friends in Ireland, too. If y'all are watching, hi to y'all and hi to everyone. And um, we love you so much. Thank you again. And uh, God bless you. And be sure to remember to count your blessings because uh, we should do it every day, but that's what this month is about. So please remember to do that. Uh, I see someone said they lived in Albuquerque um, and they a loveless, when a ho loveless hospital was on Gibson, I know exactly where you're talking about. Uh, and let's see if there's any other comments uh, on here that I see that I've um, I try, we try to say something. We don't always get to do that because we're usually in the middle of cooking, but it just so happens that I'm finished cooking today. My kitchen's clean, although I've got a few things to put up yet, but, um, I've got to get these pies in boxes and I think, I think I've talked Mike into delivering them. So, um, I'm going to get them in there and get them labeled and we will see y'all either Mary or myself. I'm not sure which, but one of us will be on tomorrow. And then she'll be on Tuesday a couple of times. And then we'll both be on Wednesday. So thank you again. Uh, we will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.